Welcome to Airline News with Geoffrey Thomas. Today, in historical flashbacks, we're looking at the Tupolev Tu-114 turboprop aircraft built in the Soviet Union between 1958 and 1962. The aircraft itself saw service with Aeroflot right through till 1977. Only 32 were built and the aircraft carried 170 passengers, travelled at 750 kilometres an hour and was used on routes to places like Vladivostok from Moscow to Tokyo to Havana, Cuba and also to New York in the United States. But look, away from the technical stuff, let's get on to the interiors. And quite an interesting interior we see here. Not a lot different to a low-cost airline today, uh, but it was rather austere nonetheless and very Soviet. Uh, I, I love the overhead baggage compartment, uh, a wire and metal affair, but there was some luxury. Lovely beds uh, on board uh, for those uh, in first class to, uh, to get some Zs. Then, of course, you would get possibly made up for dinner uh, if you're in the uh, better end of the aircraft. And bin dinner on board these aircraft was a really grand affair. Uh, these are first class passengers and uh, seems to be getting some very, very nice tucker uh, from their Aeroflot stewardess. But if you wanted to dine alone, well, there was an option there as well as we see from this gentleman who is obviously savouring some sort of alcoholic drink, uh, possibly not French, uh, but maybe uh, a rosé from another part of the world. And after dinner, maybe you could just play a game of cards, as this lovely lady is doing. Looks like a solitaire type of game to me. And, or you could just look out the window as these folks are doing here. Again, rather staged, but that's what aircraft manufacturers did to sell their, uh, the virtues of their product. And uh, certainly the Russians were no different to the Americans and the British in doing that. The 2U114, certainly a magnificent looking aircraft, very unusual looking aircraft. And that's because it was designed from the 2U95 Bear bomber um, and that's thus the glass nose that's where the bombardier sat now on this aircraft that's where the navigator sat to pick his way across the country this is all from airline news with jeffrey thomas please subscribe click a like and leave us a comment that'd be terrific